we are talking the convent, which is also known as the heretics. This one is directed by Paul Hyatt, who you may know as the director of the werewolf movie Howl and also The Seasoning House. This movie, I would say, is inspired by the Conjuring franchise, specifically Conjuring 2 and The Nun spin-off, uh, as this obviously really has a similar story, especially to The Nun, as it deals with demonically possessed nuns and kind of supernatural nuns. And it's also a period movie set in the 17th century, kind of like the actual nun movie itself. Now, what does this story actually involve? Well, it focuses on this young woman who is actually psychic, but her abilities, because of the time of, you know, where this takes place, makes people think she's a witch. So she has tried to be a witch and is going to be executed. However, she's seemingly saved by this mother superior from this kind of local convent who wants to kind of take her in and try and kind of fix her and have her sort of duties to God, etc. She, she's kind of whisked off there and it seems the nuns who reside there are particularly kind of mean and brutal and have a very kind of strict regime. However, things might not be quite as copacetic as it all appears. There may well be some dark history here. There's a young guy on the outside who is kind of, was romantically involved with another uh, novice who is at this kind of place. And uh, there seems to be some type of um, history that involves uh, sort of demonic summonings and things. And apparently these these demonic entities are not finished with this particular kind of convent as they seem to be reappearing and wanting to take the uh, sisters down a very dark path. So let's discuss the convent. So this is actually quite a well-made film. Now if you've seen the, the movie How, uh, it's a fairly kind of like well-produced werewolf film and this is kind of about the same level, the same kind of like the level of production design here than that movie. So certainly not your kind of real low budget stuff here. It's actually, it looks like it has a reasonable budget without kind of being a, you know, a bigger budget. It's kind of a medium budget horror film. So the production design here is actually really good. I, I actually quite like the fairly authentic kind of 17th century setting here in regards to set design, the kind of locations, the kind of the costumes and everything like that. It all looks pretty good and kind of does give you this kind of like uh, old worldy rustic feel to it. Look, the cast here are all very good. I thought everyone does a pretty good job here, especially because of these nuns that are very kind of stern and you never really know if they're going to be kind of like, you know, helpful or not, or where they're kind of going to, their allegiance is going to lie. So I thought the actual acting throughout the movie was pretty good. One little side note, this movie is advertised as having Michael Ironside in it. He's literally in one scene right at the beginning of the movie and then never comes in it again. So don't be expecting to see a lot of Mr. Ironside. And I've got to say, I thought the effects works here were, were all pretty good. Uh, well, they, well, there are some exceptions this will come on to. Now, Paul Hyatt's background is actually in special effects. You'd expect a reasonable amount here. Uh, and there are some pretty decent kind of like uh, spooky effects, especially with, these, with, the, way that, with the way the uh, makeup and the kind, of the, uh, the kind of glowing eyes of these nuns really look kind of quite spooky. Uh, and pretty good here, I have to say. And then they kind of there's there's absolutely loads of gore here. There's lots of eye gouging. These demonic nuns have got a thing for eye gouging. So if that's a, uh, you know, uh, something that you're particularly grossed out about, be prepared to be grossed out in this movie because there's a whole lot of eye gouging going on. So the effects I thought were for the most part all pretty good. And the story, you know, is somewhat easy. And it's easy to follow. I don't, I don't think there's any kind of like hard to follow kind of plot elements here. Uh, what doesn't work for me? It does seem, uh, going, kind of looping back into the effects here, there are some instances here where I feel the, the VFX, the kind of the digital effects, look a little bit obvious. There's, a, there's some quite horrible use of green screen. Now, it's not, there's not loads of scenes like this, but where it is, it kind of looks a little kind of unjarring, un really, because it kind of does seem so obvious that it's green screen. And also there's the, you know, the dreaded fake kind of CGI blood here and there as well. So, although I think the effects work is for the most part good, there are instances where I feel that maybe the, uh, you know, it's not quite as good. One of the things that, and this is more a nitpick, I suppose, more than anything else, but I do feel that there's, it's, it's almost a little bit convenient at times, and it almost seems like, you know, these girls keep getting caught doing things they shouldn't do. And I, I almost feel like the Mother Superior was literally hiding around the corner. 
So they always seem to get caught whenever they're kind of having a conversation that they shouldn't, whenever they're kind of, you know, having a kind of an item that they shouldn't have. They get caught literally every single time within seconds of them doing it. And it just seems a little bit convenient. And it literally, it feels like the, the nuns are hiding around the corners. You're going to jump out at the novices as they kind of like do something that they shouldn't do. It's, it's a little silly and a little bit convenient at, at times. The only other thing I would say is the climax of the movie here um, it goes for a little bit of a silly vibe. It almost changes because the, 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 the kind of the tone of the film, uh, certainly for the majority of the movie, is a somewhat serious tone with kind of, um, you know, uh, quite an oppressive feel and kind of a, almost a kind of a dark foreboding atmosphere. But the climax, it almost feels like you almost feel like you're watching the kind of the Brendan Fraser mummy film to a certain degree. It kind of goes into full CGI action mode, complete with quips, and it doesn't really feel like you're watching the same movie that you've kind of been watching for the kind of the last kind of like, you know, hour and a half or so. It's really the only the climax that does that. It's such an odd tonal shift compared to the kind of like quite menacing and kind of quite foreboding shots that we've seen that use a little bit of subtlety, but the climax, all that goes out the window for action and mayhem. So I don't know if the climax quite fitted the rest of the film, but it's certainly a watchable film, I would say. I'll give this one a 6 out of 10. I mean, if you like the actual movie The Nun, which I know has been a little bit divisive, I actually enjoyed it. But I'd probably recommend this movie, but it is, you know, it's a fairly well-made well, well, well -made film, so I think pretty much, unless you really hate The Nun, kind of the Conjuring franchise and things like that, then this may not be for you, but I would say if you don't, if you don't mind those kind of films, it's actually a fairly well-made film, and I actually kind of quite dug it to a certain degree. So for me, I'm going to give this movie a 6 out of 10. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.